Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Wednesday, September 13th, 2017. There really isn't that much going on today, so if you're looking for something to do after the show, Dead by Daylight is hosting a free weekend on Steam, which actually starts today and ends at 1pm Pacific Time on Sunday. If you like it, you can also buy it with a 50% off discount. Fly Entertainment has announced a new DLC for Don't Starve called Hamlet, containing a new playable Pigman character with the same name. Hamlet allows for new opportunities to interact with other Pigmen, introduces new items, and even introduces new content to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. It's set to release in 2018. Next up are two games coming to Nintendo Switch, the first being Thimbleweed Park, the pixel art point-and-click murder mystery coming on September 21st, with an iOS version releasing on September 19th and an Android version coming on October 3rd. And then Axiom Verge, the 2D Metroidvania callback is coming to the Switch, which I think makes a great addition to the Switch's library. And in our final Switch news, you know how the online voice app is kinda shitty? Well it's not so bad now, because it doesn't close when changing applications or if your phone goes to sleep. Nintendo, do some more testing before you shove this shit out the door. Our final release is for SteamWorld Dig 2, which is coming to PC on September 22nd for PC, Mac, and Linux, and will cost 1999 US dollars, 1999 euros, or 14.99 British pounds. This just in, PUBG's Twitter account has announced that the new update is going live tonight, so be sure to watch for updates through Steam. I actually updated this before I started recording, and now it's giving me a version mismatch error, unable to play. Thanks, PUBG! Got some mod news for you, and this one's kind of out there. Have you ever wanted to play Mercy from Overwatch in XCOM 2? Well, great news, because she comes in a variety of colors, so even if you weren't initially wanting this, you can customize her to your liking. Moving on from there, Destiny 2's first raid, called Leviathan, is now live to all players who can meet the level prerequisite. And it's also recommended that you have a power level between 260 and 280 to have a fighting chance. Up next, for you collectors out there, a 150 US dollar statue of Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. They've begun pre-orders, and it's being produced by first four figures. If you want one, get one now, because pre-orders are only available until September 15th. See, Nintendo? That's how you do a pre-order. You take in all the orders that you want, make them, and then if you want to produce any more for retail, you go ahead and do that. And I've got one more story regarding some statue news. It's a set of Big Daddy and Little Sister, from Bioshock, of course. This one's a little bit pricier at 280 US dollars, and pre-orders are going on right now through the site 3.0. And that brings us to our final topic today, and it's yet again more DMCA bullshit, and I can't believe how much video games in the DMCA system seem to be intertwined these days. This is also a little bit different because a DMCA was issued over a video that showed off a mod for Subnautica featuring a giant submarine. The owner of the video is Anthomnia, the creator of the mod named Minder had sent him an email saying that he was disappointed that he did not ask permission to make the video which received around 200,000 views. One of the great conditions about fair use is you don't have to ask permission. Hell, you don't even have to cite sources if you don't want to, but these are usually good things to do if it's reasonable. For instance, I am not going to ask Kotaku every time I want to show one of their articles, but I am going to link to their site every time I use them as a source. Not only does Minder claim that his comments were ignored on the video, but he also says that credit was never given to him, and his YouTube channel did not receive the same attention that Anthomnia's did. Fair use explicitly covers commentary and critique, as well as showing off things for educational purposes or parody. This was a commentary video that showcased this mod to let other people know that he enjoyed it and that it existed, hitting nearly every single fair use nail on the head with a hammer. So as far as I can tell, this video was taken down because Minder was jealous and 200,000 views to his creation simply wasn't enough. When you're putting out a product to the public, you have to be aware that people are going to criticize it harshly, and even then, people are going to recommend it and no one will listen. If the goal is to put out something you like and are proud of, be happy you put out something you like and are proud of. Needless to say, Anthomnia does not deserve any of this, and his channel is now in jeopardy when it was in good standing before. The DMCA system absolutely needs to change, because at this point, we are having monthly issues of people filing false DMCA claims. Have you heard of this mod before, or are you a fan of Anthomnia? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, thank you to Sharky for pointing me to this story. I also need to thank Whiskers' Cat for helping me curate tomorrow's game releases. For PC, River City Melee Battle Royale Special, Duroc, Somewhere in Ziblion, Nanoscape, Damned Hours, Royal Agents, Sweet Zombie, Little Kite, Fugle, Meditative Bird Flying Game, Valnir Rock, The First Tree, Unbalance, A Plot Story, Tryon, Puzzle Pirates, Dark Seas, Duck Season, Swim Out, Baja, Edge of Control HD, Hive Swap, Act 1, Plexarium, Rival of Queen Laoc, Botlike, A Robot's Rampage, The Sage of Twilight, Fantasy Strike, The Witch's Isle, Anger Force Reloaded, NBA 2K18, and Floor Plan Hands-On Edition. 
For PlayStation 4, Baja Edge of Control HD. For Xbox One, Baja Edge of Control HD. For Nintendo Wii U, Earthlock Festival of Magic. And for Nintendo 3DS, Percy's Predicament Deluxe. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And a woman was accused of beating her husband half to death with his guitar collection. The judge looked down at her and said, First offender? She said, no, first a Martin, then a Gibson, then a Fender. Okay, so I'm officially giving today's show the lowest score ever that I have ever given any one of my episodes. A 7.8 out of 10. I know, I know, it's horrible. It's the next this, this the next closest thing to a zero. But today's show was a little bit rushed because I had recorded more than half the show and then realized I didn't have any audio recorded. Yeah, um, so I'm just jo I'm just joking about the 7.8 part. I don't really rate my shows. I think yeah, this was a this was a really good show, or yeah, that was a really good show. Like Monday show, so happy with Monday show. Monday show, mwah, I'm so glad I came back. Like mm, nailed it. Um, but this uh, today show, I is I was so I'm just angry at myself for not starting it early and I just kind of feel like I hope I didn't rush it I feel like I I feel like I did I feel like some of the takes I did before were a lot better I I just yeah I screwed up today it happens just gotta get it just gotta get it done edited and on with the next uh so by the way uh people have been co some people have commented that um they kind of liked the switch over to the other camera however I don't like necessarily showing off all the crap around my set, so, um, pardon me, excuse me. What I've done now is I've set it up to the, to put the camera on top, my, my webcam on top of my other camera. So while this is the camera here, this is the camera here. So there's not very much difference between what's going on. Um, let's flash over to here. See? Here and back. Okay. Camera tricks. Yay! Okay, so, um, we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to do this more often. If not, you might get a random weird angle. I don't know, we'll try some new stuff. Maybe I need two tripods and just actually have to put them next to each other. I don't know. I just, I, I, I started out, by the way, the reason why I even have two cameras on me is because I started out just recording myself with the webcam, and then I moved up to the DSLR, and I didn't really reset the, um, the uh, settings for OBS, it just let it record. I figured, eh, I might as well just keep using the webcam. It gives me something, gives me another angle I, that I never used up until now. So, let's, what the hell, let's start using it. Um, don't know how often I'm going to use that. Maybe we'll cut to, like, when people are like, but dandruff, and, you know, when I do those, but dandruff things, I'll just cut to, like, the, like, you know, your everyday guy with a, you know, because this, this is the professional camera of, uh, you know, ha, ha, ha. and then this is the, like, hey, we're we're casual, we're just a gamer, you know, so there's the professional me, which is now this, and then casual dandruff, hey, switching forward back and forth between cameras, something new I've never done before, yay. <coughs> More stuff I have to sync up. So, um... There really wasn't that much uh, to go today, and then Sharky was like, hey, have you heard about this, Dandruff? No, I haven't heard about that. Qu great, more DMCA bullcrap that we got to deal with. I mean, that's what half of this show is at this point, is uh, DMCA, false DMCA claims. I have yet to see one that's legit. Then again, if you're like, what do you do if you cover one that's legit? Oh yeah, that guy stole that video. Don't steal things. I don't know. I'm done. I'm going to go play PUBG. Or I'm going to go play PUBG. Um, we're going to go watch the, the version mismatch error screen more and more. Because, I don't know. It told me that I needed to update to a version that was below it. I was on version like 2.6 or something. It told me to go update to version 2.5. PUBG is the best working game ever, everybody. Nothing has ever been wrong with PUBG, ever. It's always your computer, your machine. It's not PUBG's fault. It's not Blue Hole's fault. It's not Brendan Green's fault. Those guys just, those guys are just hard working. They don't sleep on top of a pile of money. Social media links are over here, everybody. Click over here to subscribe to my channel. Click over here to, uh... Watch yesterday's episode, which is about the FTC filing with T. Martin over CSGO gambling sites. The fucker should have gotten nailed to the wall, but he didn't. 
Oh, well. Bye. See you tomorrow.